Hey everybody, I have another video to upload here. Um, right now I'm doing a boiler flush on my Navient NCB240E and uh, I'm gonna go through kind of what I did. Um, as always, I'd just like to say I'm not a professional uh, HVAC or plumber, so do this at your own risk. This is what's being performed on my unit and let's get into it. So let's start with the easy part. So inside this bucket here, I have just a utility pump you can pick up from Home Depot. Um, and two washer lines. Now, on my particular setup down here, um, this is how I currently have it set up. Again, it wasn't installed by me. This was here with the house when I bought it quite a few years ago. So however they installed it is how they installed it. So moving on, I have these two handles here, okay, for the cold water side. I turn that off. On the hot water side, same thing. I have a handle, turn that off. Okay, then turn the unit off. Make sure the power is off. I just unplugged mine from the, uh, from the uh, outlet up there, uh, just to be sure. So the next thing I did is I hooked up a washer hose to the pump, and that goes to this cold water side. Um, on your unit, you'll see there should be a little cap here on both sides, Go ahead and unscrew that. Okay, once that's unscrewed, again, the hose that is connected to the pump is going to be connected to the cold water side. And this hose here, the blue hose, just gets drained back into the bucket. Okay, once these two are hooked up, um, these would be in the on position, or off position, I'm sorry, um, before you touch anything. So once these hoses are hooked up, you can go ahead and open up both of these valves. Now, once both of those valves are open, uh, you have an open entryway into the heat exchanger and back right there, the Everon heat exchanger. We're doing the domestic hot water side. Um, this is what comes out of your faucets and, 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 and things like that. Um, this is not the heating side. Um, so once you got your hoses hooked up, um, make sure that the discharge is into the bucket or else it's going to be a big mess. Um, go ahead and plug your pump in and uh, give it about an hour to flush through. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. All right, everyone, I'm back. <clears throat> it's been just short of an hour. Um, you can kind of see, it's hard to tell. It's not orange puffy, but it's quite dirty. Um, I haven't done this in quite a bit, uh, probably about two years. And from what I understand, you want to do this every year if you can. Even better is every six months. Uh, just give it a quick flush. Again, clearly I didn't uh, follow that guideline, um, but hopefully it'll do a better job. So let's wrap this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna shut the pump off. Okay, so I'm just gonna unplug it. And you do also have to run some fresh water through the heat exchanger um, to flush out all of that vinegar that you just sent through there. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close off this valve Okay, now we're going to very slowly open this one. And water should come out here. There it is. Okay, go ahead and increase that a little bit. Just to flush all that vinegar out. Whatever remaining loose sediment there is. Alright, I'm going to let this do its thing and I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, I think I flushed it pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn this valve off. Okay. Let's go ahead and disconnect this valve, or this hose rather. Okay. Now again, make sure that's closed before you go ahead and take this off. Just going to screw that back on. Okay, now for the hot water side. So again, we're gonna go ahead and close this valve first. Go ahead and take this, unscrew it. 
Okay, see what I have there. Go ahead and put this back on. Okay, now you can go ahead and open up the valves. Now there's some other maintenance things you could do while you're in here. Uh, cleaning the inlet uh, sediment trap, some other things. I'll do another video on that. Um, but for the most part, this is pretty much it to go ahead and flush in the domestic hot water side. Obviously, let's turn the unit on. Oop, maybe plug it in, that'll work. down there too. Okay, make sure everything's good. Perfect, no error codes, uh, no error messages, no error lights. We are good to go. So again, I'll be uploading a video of little maintenance things you could do, cleaning the air filter, the inlet, the uh, sediment trap, things like that. Um, but I hope you found this video to be clear and concise. Um, if you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. Uh, if you found this helpful, please give me a subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, see you next time.